Hey, what's going on there guys? You've officially arrived at the 420 scene and today we got a banger of a life story about the first time getting way too blaze on edibles with some Red Dead gameplay. But first, show some love and support by watching the entire video, dropping a like, subscribing, and tapping the post notification bell so you miss out on any future videos. Also, be sure to join our VIP Patreon program for one-on-one -on -one grow help, tips, monthly giveaways, live streams, all that good stuff. Link is gonna be in the description below. And also, don't forget, if you wanna come and check out our grows and just chill with us, be sure to join our Discord link is going to be at the pin message at the bottom. So on to today's life story. This was about six years ago and it all started literally at my uncle's funeral. I know, kind of messed up, but it's a great start for a story, right? <laughs> so for my family, I don't know if this is a Middle Eastern European thing, but it's always been tradition that when someone passes away, you wait 40 days and we have pretty much a get together celebrating the person's life that passes on. But on this day, I opened up Pandora's box without even realizing it. I'm on the back porch with a bunch of people who I don't even know. I, I just know their family, their friends. I don't know who they are. I've never seen him before. And then my one cousin shows up and he's pretty important to the story. Like he's the most important piece to the story, right? So backstory, my cousin, he's a different breed of human. He's one of those guys that rock a WRX. His gamer tag is literally like boosted Subi something. This is the guy that buys the latest and greatest everything. It doesn't even matter. If he doesn't have it, he's going to get it. Like literally it's like that. Everything on credit, everything name brand. He won't even smoke out of glass unless it's Grav Labs. He makes a monthly payment to the car wash. Like, literally, he's that guy, all right? I don't mean to throw my cousin any shade, but honestly, he he really is that guy. So we start talking, right? We're on the porch, we're on the back porch, and he gets really close to me. And I'm like, bro, personal space, right? And he's like, nah, 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 I gotta ask you something. And I'm standing there like, okay, well, what the f you want to talk about that you're whispering? Why are we whispering at a funeral right now? I'm thinking he pulled some kind of crazy Frank Gallagher shameless kind of shit like harboring Charles Manson or like he reported a car stolen and I got to drive him to the airport. Like he's never gotten all weird with me like that and he just asked, want to smoke weed? Bruh. So I freeze for a second and I got this grin on my face. I'm like, Bro, why didn't you say so? Now, this is the part of the story that's really important to the real part of the story, okay? <laughs> this is pretty much the catalyst that opened up Pandora's box. So a few months go by and my cousin called me up and he's like, dude, you gotta come over. I got something for us that we both need to try. And I don't know what the f he had, but he never called me so super excited before. So I figured an hour drive was definitely gonna be worth it. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm definitely downplaying it. It was definitely an hour and a half drive. So I come over, no idea. I have no idea what I'm walking into. It could have been literally anything. So we're kind of just chilling. We're playing Battlefield 1. That was the game everybody was playing at the time. I don't know if everybody was playing at the time, but I was definitely playing at the time. My cousin and I, we were just, we were always playing Battlefield 1. It's like when I come over, I didn't know what I was walking into, but I don't want to be the guy to start the conversation. I didn't know how that was going to end up. And then we're gaming and then I ask him like, what's up? And he's like, come with me. The Paranoia sets in once again. I don't know what I'm walking into. What is he gonna show me? Like, I have no idea what's going on. So we walk right into the kitchen. He opens the fridge and it's like a slice of heaven just spewed out right out of the fridge. That dank stank was so on point. Like it wasn't super high key. I'm definitely building it up a little bit. It wasn't super high key like dry herb, but like you still knew. You definitely knew. Had that hint of dank stank and it was just a pan full of peanut butter cup edibles. Now, mind you, I never had edibles before. I always heard it was like a whole other level from dry flour, but like I didn't know. So we got the refrigerator door open and I mean, we're staring in both our eyes are locked in. I'm talking anti-tank honing missile right here. I remember the first bite that I took. It was like the perfect combination of flavors. Just peanut butter and dank. It's just... It's just peanut butter and dang. It's just like the best combo ever. It's even better than chocolate in my opinion. Guys, listen, listen. I know everybody likes chocolate and dank, but I'm telling you, for some reason, the peanut butter with the dank, it's just, oh man, chef's kiss. You know what I'm saying? It's it's that good. World's greatest combination right there. Peanut butter and dank. I mean, it's irrefutable. So we both take a bite and we go back to playing Battlefield 1 and my cuz had the best, I'm talking about the best gaming setup if you're stony baloney. He's got the massage chair. He's got the TV raised and mounted and if you're baked, I, I mean, 
it's just absolutely perfect. There's nothing better than being completely blazed, gaming, and getting a massage all at the same time. It's like melted butter right there. That's literally what we're like right now, okay? It's just perfect. It's just stoner heaven right there. But I got a genius. I got a brilliant idea of going into the kitchen and grabbing some more infused peanut butter cups. So I get up. I tell my cousin, I'm like, yo, bro, I gotta use the bathroom real quick. And instead of going left, I sneak to the right into the kitchen, Captain Price breach style, and I take a whole peanut butter cup and I just devour it like it's my life's mission. So I straight annihilated this peanut butter cup, this infused peanut butter cup. And I get back to the massage chair, acting like I got a W, and my cousin is just looking at me and I got this smirk on my face that I just, you can't hide it. You ever feel like you one up somebody and you're trying to hide it? You're trying to be low key about it, but like you know you won and you can't be low key about it? That's that's exactly how I was at this point. He knew something was up. He straight up just knew. Nobody just goes to the bathroom and then comes out and it's just like, you got that smirk on your face. It's just not like a normal act, right? <laughs> at this point, I felt like I won. I felt like a straight OG. And then he's just like, what happened? Come on, cat's out of the bag. I know you did something. I froze for a hot second and then I was like, remember how I took a bite of that peanut butter cup well I kind of ate another one and then he just looked at me like I stole the nuclear launch key and hit the little red button causing complete world destruction and he's just like bro you shouldn't have done that and now I'm thinking well why you cheap f you got a whole fridge full of them and he's like nah nah bro like you know you're Right, so I never had edibles before and I thought it was just gonna be like dry herb where it just hits you right away I felt nothing so I ate yet another peanut butter cup I mean what can go wrong at this point? I felt like if I had just another one I would definitely one up my cousin just one more time right in front of his face <sighs> So we're gaming, laughing, we're having a good old time, completely stoned out of our minds and out of nowhere, everything sort of glitched and I just got straight up railed. Felt like I got punched by Mean Joe Green and got like a 12 kick combo by Bruce Lee at the same damn time. It was such an intense indica kind of feeling, really heavy feeling. I ended up getting up, I told my cousin, bro, I'm taking your bed, all right? And I just passed out and he goes, but that's my bed. What do you mean you're gonna just take it just like that? And I'm just like, I don't care, bro. You got the floor, bro. Savagery. I didn't even ask. His house, his bed, I straight up didn't give a flying f It was just like, I'm gonna do this and what are you gonna do about it? Like, it was just like that. See how nice I am, guys? You see that? See how nice the 420 scene is? I go to my cousin's place, he offers me edibles, I play his video games, I eat the man's food, and that's still not enough. I gotta take the man's bed on top of it and I just straight didn't give a f I didn't give a flying f jabroni move. I know. So at this point, I'm completely passed out. I woke up 16 hours later. I remember this really clearly. So this was on a Saturday around six o'clock. It was definitely dinner time, and I woke up noon the next day. And I had the nerve to ask my cousin, I'm like, oh man, how long was I out for? He's like, it's the next day, bro. <laughs> what do you mean? And I'm like, so maybe midnight. So well, I thought he meant the next day, you know, like midnight, one, two o'clock in the morning. I thought that's what he meant by the next day. And he points to the window, and it's straight up sunny. Birds are chirping, and he's like, does it look like it's midnight to you? We just laughed the whole thing off, and that was the first time I ever tried edibles. I mean, what an experience. 420 scene, PSA of the day. Don't steal people's beds when you get too blazed from edibles. Listen, guys, heat of the moment, shit happens. Any Karens in the comment section that's butthurt about the story, get over it. I'm just gonna end up finding that even more funny than the life story itself, and I got another even more up story with my cousin that I really want to share with you guys, but I'm definitely going to save that one. I got to hold off on this one. Maybe I'll tell it next week or something. And to be fair, I know I kind of look like a douche right now, but I've given my cousin a ton of dank in the past. I've always offered to let him crash at my place rent free like anytime, so he'll be all right. I mean, not going to lie, it definitely swiped a whole bunch of his dank too, so it kind of evens out. And guys, don't read into the stories too much. You know, this is for your entertainment. I make these stories so you guys can enjoy the entertainment. I usually come out with these on either Fridays or Tuesdays, kind of make your days a little bit better. Don't read into it too much. You know, these stories are really fun to do. I like to share my experiences and hopefully give you guys a bit of a laugh. If you guys have any interesting, crazy stories, definitely drop in the comment section. I would really love to read them. So hopefully this life story was really entertaining. This is one of the funnier ones that I had and it was just, it was just crazy. I thought it was great. You know what I mean? Hopefully you guys were able to picture the story happening. So before we close off today's video, I want to thank everyone on screen who's been supporting us on Patreon. I really appreciate the love and support. So I'm going to close out today's video. Be sure to drop a fat thumbs up, drop that fat like, and subscribe for more content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. And as always, stay safe. Peace.